Aloha, my name is Christina. Welcome to day nine of my Pilates for Beginners series. As always, if you haven't done days one through eight yet, click on the links below and go ahead and do those videos because those are going to be essential for today's workout. We're just going to continue to build on all of the exercises that we've learned so far to help prepare you for some of the more intermediate or maybe even advanced exercises. So come on down and let's get started. We're going to continue to start with the hundred. Lay down onto your back. You know what modifications you need. Head down, head up, legs tabletop, or maybe even legs down. Reach the arms straight up to the ceiling and take a breath there. So plug through the shoulders, find your armpits, find your abs, and then bring your legs in a tabletop. So you're always core setting through the waistline. You're finding that neutral pelvis. Then as you exhale, you wanna press the arms down, lift the chest up high, and start pumping the arms. So inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, two. Exhale, two, three, four, five, three. So squeeze in the backs of the shoulders. Five, four, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Can we reach the legs up to the ceiling pretty early on today? Four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, seven. If you can turn the legs out slightly, eight. Exhale, two, three, two more, nine. Maybe drop the legs down a little bit. Last one, 10. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hug the knees in, head down, relax. All right, let's do four of our roll-ups. Lay the legs all the way down if you can. Reach the arms back behind you. Inhale, lift the head and the hands, and then exhale, round form. Find that rounded shape of your spine as you reach down. Inhale, start to roll down. Always grab the legs if you need and roll all the way back to the mat. Inhale, lift the head and the hands. Big exhale, scoop. So your belly button pulls back as your spine rounds forward. All the way down and stretch the arms overhead. As always, if you need to hook your feet underneath your couch or if you need to hold your legs to help peel your spine off, that is totally fine. You always have this rolling sensation in through your spine. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. All the way forward. We're gonna, I'm just gonna scoot forward. Scoot forward, making sure there's nothing back behind you today because we are gonna reach the legs pretty far-ish back as they go overhead. Start to roll all the way down, move my hair out of the way, and then all the way down through the mat. So let's do two of our preps. Arms are pressing down into the mat, legs are straightish up to the ceiling. You can bend the knees slightly if you need. So you're gonna inhale lower like a couple inches, exhale lift, pause. Use your low abs, use your arms, and lift. Inhale lower, exhale to lift. You're gonna to start to reach the legs a little further back overhead. Pull the abs in, reach the legs back. So I'm lifting my hips up to the ceiling and kind of aiming them back behind me. Same thing with my legs. So I still have that rounded shape of my spine. Two more, go as far back as you feel fully comfortable today. And then back down. One more and one. And then back down. Good. Hug the knees and take a little second. So eventually our toes are going to reach all the way back behind us. Maybe they touch the floor. It really just depends on how your body is feeling. If you have tight hamstrings or your neck is really bothering you, you're not going to be able to go all the way far or back. Um, and that's totally fine. Just see how your body is feeling. Okay. Series of five. We've been working on sort of stacking some of the exercises together. Let's do a, a single leg stretch and double leg stretch. One and two back to back. Uh, bring the legs in a tabletop. Curl back up, come with me fancy. Right hand, right ankle, pull the knee in and switch. So with the outside hand to the ankle, just kind of prevents the knee from opening too far out to like the shoulder. So you want it pretty close to the center of the midline of the body. And switch four more, four, and switch, and three, and switch two more, two, and switch one more. So double leg stretch, hands to the toes. We're gonna to add the arms right away and pull in. We'll just reach them back. Pull it in. So inhale, reach. So I'm looking kind of past my toes the whole time. Head never lays down. Try not to cheat. Inhale, six. Exhale, in. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. And relax. Good. Take that little moment. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of a double pulse. There's a classical and contemporary Pilates and their classical Pilates mat, there is like a little double pulse open with the legs. Always think about using your abs, try not to use your arms too much. So right leg goes up again, left leg swings out. You're gonna curl up high, 
from your abs. You're gonna pulse the legs open or pull the leg towards you twice. Switch, switch. So pulse, pulse, switch, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Keep going, four. So the legs are as straight as you can. Five, five. You're almost like stretching your hamstring. Six, 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 six. Shoulders are good, seven, seven. So if you ever need to bring your head down, that's fine. That's totally fine. Two more, nine. One more each leg. Good, and then relax, hug it in, take a little moment. Okay, double leg, lower lift, hands behind the head, curl up high if you can, leg straightish up to the ceiling and slightly turned up. Inhale, lower, and then exhale, lift. As always, keep your pelvis really still. Chest is lifted nice and high, and four. If your neck is bothering you, you can always press your arms down into the mat. Six, press your shoulder blades and really keep your chest open. Seven, good. And eight, two more. And nine, last one. And 10, and then hug the knees in. Okay, take a really quick second. We're gonna work on our crisscross, kind of back and forth. We're gonna keep stretching your hamstrings today. So right leg is up today, left leg is out, hands behind the head. So I'm still twisting to the leg that's closest to my face, and I'm gonna switch. So scissor, switch, a little harder. Three, four, five, good, you got it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, and relax. Awesome. We're going to continue to build on that, stack the exercises, hopefully a little shorter breaks in between. All right, giving your abs a break, let's go straight into bridging. Arms are pressing down. Start to scoop your abs in and roll the hips up. Glutes are engaged, hamstrings are engaged, and then roll it back down. Feet are slightly separated. Abs are zipped in. Fire the backs of the legs as you roll up two. And then roll it back down. Two more. My abs are so sore from that series too. I feel like Pilates, yes, maybe gets a little bit easier, but then we start to like make it harder and stack exercises. So you have a lot less, lot fewer breaks. Okay, hold the hips up here. We've been working on this little foot choreography. Right leg straight up. You're gonna flex the foot down, point to lift. Flex two, point lift. So really use the arms. Three, lift, and four. Five, so the leg is straight the whole time. Six, squeezing the left butt cheek. Seven, and eight, two more, and nine. Today, we're gonna reach the right leg to the ceiling, flex the foot, can you tap your booty all the way down? Hips up, five, four, three, it's hard. Just two more, two, and one, and then switch legs. So squeeze your right butt cheek as the left leg goes up, and you're gonna flex and lift. Flex lower, point lift, three. Abs are zipped in. Four, pelvis is still. Five, use the arms. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, hold that left leg up, flex the foot, drop your hips down. Five, and four, sacrum down. Three, it's a little triangle ball between your butt cheeks. One more, one, drop the foot, and then roll back down. Good, take a little moment, hug the knees into the chest. Can we try another roll-up? Lay the legs all the way down. Reach the arms back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And then come all the way up. All right. We've been working on our rolling series, rolling like a ball, and a modified, it's called open leg rocker. We might do the maybe possible full version of open leg rocker today. We'll see how that feels. As always, if you have osteoporosis, if you have any fractures, um, if you have any herniated discs, Bulging discs, this is not your exercise, this is not your friend. We can always work your abs in another position. So this like kind of extreme rounding and flexion of your spine, not your friend. So just skip this, kind of fast forward to the next set of exercises. Okay, if you can, you're gonna scoot forward to the front edge of the mat. Hands are gonna grab to the ankles and you're gonna hug the knees in. So your head is pretty close to the knees, your feet are pretty close to the butt. You're gonna inhale, rock back, exhale, rock forward. Ooh, this is tough today. <laughs> Here we go. Inhale, exhale, round. So you want to keep this rounded shape. I imagine my spine whoa, is like a, the bottom of a rocking chair. So if we flatten, it helps to, or it kind of hinders us from like rolling back. One more. Exhale, lift. And then relax. You didn't do a great job of it today, but you're attempting to keep your head pretty close to the knee. Okay, modified open leg rocker. You're gonna grab behind the thighs, behind the knees, and you're gonna bring your legs into tabletop. So they're slightly open. I'm pressing my legs forward. I'm pulling my hands back. I'm lifting the chest. So from here, I tuck under. I roll forward. 
baby chest lift, tuck under, roll forward, baby chest lift. Let's just do one more, tuck under, and baby chest lift, and then relax, good. So we're gonna do three more. If you can, you're gonna maybe try to straighten the legs today. So, so your hands are gonna stay in the same spot today. We're gonna reach the legs out long. So I'm actively pushing my legs down, I'm pulling my arms back. I'm still really, really active through my legs and my arms. And then I'm gonna round, exhale round. Oh, inhale round, sorry. Exhale round, baby lift. If you feel comfortable, maybe walk your hands up your legs towards your feet. Last one, inhale round, exhale lift and then relax good so we're going to continue to work on that eventually your legs are straight your hands are pretty high but again it depends on your flexibility okay we've been working on a little seated ab series we're going to go straight into it today hands are either back behind you onto the mat or arms are forward out in front of you tuck your pelvis under find a little balance bring both legs up to tabletop kind of a modified single leg stretch we're just going to do single counts today right leg and left leg two and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Just one more each leg, 10, and then come on back up. Okay, double leg stretch. We are leaning back as the legs go out, either arms forward or hands back behind you. I'll start with the hands down. I'm gonna lean forward, I'm sorry, lean back as the legs extend. Two, three, four, five. Good, maybe reach the arms forward for five four, three, two, one, and then relax. Very nice. Okay. Take a little second there. Today, we're going to add a bit of a twist. So let's keep the hands back behind you. It's a little easier to balance. So as we lean back, we're going to actually kind of rotate. So bring your legs back into that tabletop. I'm going to lean back, extend the legs. I'm kind of balancing on my right butt cheek, and I'm going to come up to center. And two, three, four, Five. Good, you got it. And six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and then relax. Good. Okay, take a little second. I know your hips are pretty sore after that. Mine always are. I'm trying. <laughs> I always try to use more of the abs, but the hip flexors and the like psoas muscles, they always start to kick in for me. I blame it on years of dancing. Okay, you're gonna lay down on your tummy. Either prop yourself all, I'm sorry, lay yourself all the way down, or you can prop yourself all the way up. We're starting to open the front of the hips and we're gonna do our neck roll. Look all the way to the right, circle the chin down, look all the way left, and look forward. Other side, look left, circle the chin down. So ideally your legs are together. My low back is, you know, I'm not very happy today. So I'm just doing legs slightly apart. And forward, let's just do one more, left, Circle down, look right, and look forward. Good, if you need to lay yourself all the way down, that's totally fine. Let's do our single leg kicks. Kick the right foot towards your butt. One, and two, two, three, three. So shoulders are down the back, four, four. Abs are really zipped up, five. So you don't arch the back. Seven, eight, one more each side. And 10, 10, and then relax back up. Good. So today we're gonna do a little heel beats instead of our swimming. So the legs are slightly turned out. You're gonna lay your head all the way down onto your hands. I'm gonna leave myself up slightly just so you can hear me. So abs are zipped up. I'm squeezing my booty. I'm lifting the legs up, turning the legs out. I'm gonna click my heels together eight times with a pause. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold, squeeze, two more. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, squeeze. Last one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, squeeze, and then relax. Good. Go ahead and press back into a child's pose for your back. Ooh, hamstrings. Okay, so we're gonna do our sideline today. We're gonna do actually a few fewer exercises um, because we're going to do a lot of glute exercises in another position. We've been working on propping your head all the way up. If it feels okay for your neck, we're going to see today. And then top head is on the mat. We're going to skip our little clamshell situations and we're going to go straight to the, ex uh, the leg extended out. Okay. Lengthen, scoop and support, double kick forward. Kick, kick. We've been working on this one. Back, back. Two, two, back. Keep going. Three, three, back, 
back, four, four, back, back. Keep going. Five abs, glutes, glutes. Six, six, back, back. Seven, seven, back, back. Eight, eight, back. Two more. And back, back. One more. Ten. Good. Big circles. We've been working on this one as well. Ten. And two. As always, abs are zipped in. Three. Squeeze that top butt cheek. Four. Spine is long. Five. You got it. Six. And seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Finish the circle. And swing back. Ten. That was actually probably more for me. Two. You got it. Three. Four. And five. And six. And seven. Almost there, eight, two more, nine, and 10, and then relax. Okay, we're gonna add uh, bicycles today. So I think a giant bicycle, unicycle maybe, um, and very like dancery. So we want the legs pretty straight. It's less of like Roadrunner, <laughs> like very like Moulin Rouge with a leg long. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Extend the leg out. So I'm going to squeeze my butt and swing the leg back. From here, ooh, I'm going to scoot forward. I'm trying to keep the thigh where it is, bend my knee. My foot is going to come towards my butt. I'm going to reach the leg forward and extend it. So straight back. Keep the knee as I bend and reach it forward. What usually happens is we start to pull the knee forward too soon and it's easy. Two more. Two. Foot to your butt. One more. One foot to your butt and then we're going to reverse so bend knee goes all the way back extend it behind you and swing so bend knee straighten and swing and bend knee straighten and swing two more bend knee straighten and swing last one bend knee careful and then relax the back down so we're going to continue to work on that one that one comes into play in, in some of our more like intermediate and advanced exercises. Okay, we're gonna skip the adductors, the inner thigh one today, and we're gonna go straight into our little mermaid lift. So abs are zipped in, lay yourself all the way down, and you're gonna lower lift both legs. Two, three, four, five, good. Six, not so bad today. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, 10, we're gonna add the upper body, so bend that bottom elbow in, just support the head. Think about lifting the shoulders ever so slightly off the floor. Three, four. So you're not pushing on your head and your neck at all. That's not happy. Six, seven, good. Eight, two more. Nine, ten. And then we've been adding a little tricep dip. So bend the bottom knee in, prep yourself all the way up. So right arm, right leg is straight. And I'm going to loop under and grab my rib cage. Inhale, bend. Ten, two, Three, I don't forget. I always forget how hard these are for. They don't look very hard. Five and six. You got it. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one. Ten, and then come all the way up. Okay, shake it out. Just do a little arm reach across. Arm overhead. Grab the elbow. Okay, we're going to go straight to here, the other side. All right, let's lay all the way down on the right side. So make, let's like set up now. So you're making sure that there's nothing back behind you that you can kick. Wrap your head all the way up, lengthen through the spine, pull the abs in, and we're going to start with the leg straight right away. Good. Go into the little double kick forward and kick, kick back. Good. Keep going. Two, two, back, back. Three, three. So always using the abs. Four, four, back, back. Five. Chest stays open. Six and seven. My butt's like already on fire. Eight. You got it. Nine. One more. Ten. Good. And then we've been working on our circles up and around. Two and three. So maybe even thinking that as your booty starts to tire, four, even start to use your inner thigh five, to help pull the leg down. Six and seven. Keeping that chest open. Eight, try not to round down. Nine, ooh, 10, and then swing it forward and then other direction, back up and around. And two, three. I felt my hips start to move a little bit, four. So pelvis is pretty still, five, and six. 
Woo, seven, you got it. And eight, two more, nine and 10. And then relax like a little second and tap it out. Okay, I'm gonna scoot a little bit further forward. Let's go into your bicycles. Leg goes up. So I'm gonna swing it back, bend the knee, try to bring my foot towards my butt, knee forward and straighten. So straight leg, bend, knee and straighten. And three, it's kind of nice with my wall here because I really want to brush my feet against the wall. If I don't, then my knee starts to pull forward. Good, and then let's reverse. So bend, reach, wall, and forward. Bend, reach, wall, I think that was a little cheating. Three, I just wanna kick it, and four. One more, and five. And then relax. We're gonna to continue to work on that one. Lay yourself all the way down. Reach both legs out long. Abs are zipped in. Press your top hand into the mat as you lower and lift both legs. Two, three, good. Four, five. So really zip into the abs. Six, keeping your chest open. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, and ten. And then relax. Prop that hand up, head up onto your hand, something like that. And you're going to add the shoulders. Two, keep it really small. Three, dump the head into the hand. Four, so just really support it. Five, so you're not using your neck at all. Six, seven, you're isolating the obliques. Eight, woo, nine, ten, and then relax. Okay, prop yourself all the way up. Left hand remains on the floor. Left leg is straight. I'm going to loop my right hand around. Good, here we go. Inhale, bend, press. Two, triceps. Three, four, keep that spine super long. Five, try not to round. And six. It's on fire. Seven. You got it. Eight, nine, and ten. And then relax. Okay. Take a moment. Shake it out. Cross that arm over. Whew. Arm goes up overhead. Grab the elbow and stretch. Very nice. Okay. We're going to go into a fairly long all fours series today. So for the first couple things, we're going to start on your elbows. And then we'll switch to up to your hands. Because I always want to I just want to save your wrists. Okay, so you're gonna come down to all fours. Let's start with the left leg back today. So left leg goes back behind you, scoop up to the abs, squeeze to the glutes, and the leg just goes up and down. Two. So being careful that your back isn't moving. Four, five. So now that we're facing down, it's more like glute max, which is like the meteor part of your butt, and your hamstring, back of the leg. Good. Let's add your inner thigh. Cross, lift two, three. So back of the neck is long, four. I'm kind of looking towards my hands, five. I just don't want to be here. This is not happy for your neck. Seven, trust me. <laughs> you don't want neck issues, nine. Okay, lift and I'm going to flex the foot, bend the knee. It's like I'm going to place the knee down and I'm going to swing it up, two, and three. So a little more hamstring, four, and five. Armpits are engaged, six. I'm not sinking in my upper body, seven, and eight, two more, nine. Lift and hold little pulses up and down 10 times, two, three, four. The pulsing is a little wonky. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then bring it back down. Good, same thing, other side. Can we go straight into it right away? So the leg is straight, two, back of the neck is long, three, abs are zipped, four, five. So we're trying not to move your back at all, isolating your glute and hamstring. Eight, two more. Nine, lift and hold, cross tap, center. Two, inner thigh. Three, you got it. Four, five, six, ooh, my neck is wonky. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, and 10. Good, I'm gonna bend the knee, flex the foot, inhale, it swings down, and exhale, lift. Two, so I'm more swinging the thigh versus, um, kind of straightening the leg, five. So like the bottom half of my leg is just along for the ride. And seven, eight, two more, nine. Lift and hold, find those pulses up and down, 10 times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10, and then relax, good. Press back into a little child's pose, take a moment for your upper body. Okay, we've been adding the upper body, kind of complex movements. We're gonna come all the way up to your hands. It's just a little easier to balance. Okay, so let's start with the left leg back behind you. Leg is straight. 
right arm is forward, thumb to the ceiling. And then you're gonna use your glute and hamstring to lift the leg. Three, I'm using my like lats, four, like mid back to lift the arm. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, lift and hold. I'm gonna round tap and stretch and two, stretch and three. So really round your spine, four, use the abs. Five, six, seven, eight, ooh, balance, nine. I'm gonna hold here, little pulses up and down 10 times. Three, four, five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take a little moment, shake it out, straight to the other side. Right leg goes back, left arm reaches forward, thumb to the ceiling as the arm goes up and down. Two, three, so really core set, wrap to the waistline, four, five. So you're not using your back, six, or arching it. Seven, eight, neck is long, nine, up and hold, round elbow to knee, stretch, two, stretch, and three, woo, four, roll and balance, five, and I'm wide in my hand, six, ooh, that's better, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, reach out and hold, little pulses to finish, two, three, four, five, you got it, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and relax, good. Press back into your child's pose. Take a little moment. Okay, come all the way up. Let's go into, we've been working on sort of things turned out and wide. Let's go straight to like our parallel series. So we're gonna go straight into a chair pose and then we've been adding this sort of like curtsy lunge situation here. So just practicing our kind of, short, uh, Shoulder, shoulder or hip distance, feet, knees are bent, and knees are always pointing forward directly over your toes. Good, stand all the way up, arms are down, thumb position is still the same, palms in, thumbs to the ceiling as you bend, and lift, two, three, so I'm using my back to lift the arms, as always, four, and five, squeeze the glutes at the top, six, seven, eight, knees are pointing straight forward, nine, one more, no pulses, 10, and then relax. Okay, you're gonna step the right foot back. Quick reminder, your feet are not in the same line, you're not on a tight rope, tight rope. Your feet are pretty wide. Not so wide that your foot's like all the way out here and like nowhere land, but they're about shoulder-ish distance apart. So as I bend, my right knee points down and my left knee points forward. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, find the balance. Zip up to the abs and just straighten both legs. If you need to grab onto something for balance, that's totally fine. Three, four, maybe today I do. Five, six, hands can go wherever you want. Seven, and eight, and nine. I'm gonna hold at the bottom. Little pulses up and down, 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm gonna come all the way up. Good, same thing, other side. So I'll just turn around. You can just step your foot back, find your balance, bend the knees. Just kind of hold there for a second. Right knee points forward, left knee points straight down. So this thigh is actually pretty vertical versus like a lunge stretch. I think more of a kind of a, a curtsy lunge, okay? Hands wherever you want and down and up. Two, three, four, five. Grab onto something if you need. Six and seven. Eight, two more. Nine, hold at the bottom, pulse up and down to finish. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then come all the way up. All right, shake it out. We've been working on our planks to finish. So we've been doing kind of like knees are pulling in. Maybe we add a little bit of a twist. I want to add a little bit of a straight leg lift today. So we've been working on that a lot today. So we're using your glute and your hamstring to help lift the leg and you're not moving your back at all. So whether you're on the counter, on the couch, elbows or hands, I'm gonna totally leave that, leave that position up to you. I'm gonna come up to my hands or maybe my knuckles today. I'm gonna walk the toes back. I'm gonna find a full plank. So uh, I'm looking straight down at the floor. Pelvis is slightly tucked. My legs are parallel, so my knees are pointing down. I'm gonna do a baby lift of the leg to the ceiling. Three, four, five. So if you need to come down to your elbows, six, that is totally fine. 
seven, eight, one more each leg, nine, 10, and then relax. Good, take a little moment. We've been working on our mountain climber, so pulling one knee into your chest. So find your full plank. Good, pull one knee in, switch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Surprise, can we go straight to our twist? Right knee, left elbow, switch. Three, take a break if you need four. Five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, 10, and then relax. Very nice. Step forward into your lunge. Woo. The exercises are getting harder. Uh, we're not taking as many breaks. So although the length of the video seems to be about the same, it's just getting harder and harder, which is gonna help prepare you for some of the more like intermediate and advanced exercises. Let's lay down on your back today to stretch your hamstring. So maybe flex the foot if you can, pull that leg as close as you can, and then you wanna make sure the leg is really straight. Try not to bend the knee. We'll go straight into our glute stretch. Ooh, this is really tight. Beautiful, same thing other side. So leg goes straight up, ish. Turn that leg out. Ooh, glutes. Flex both feet to help protect your knee. Push the elbow into the knee as you pull the chest or pull the thigh towards your chest. Awesome. Come all the way up to sit. And you made it. Great job today. Today was day nine of my Pilates for Beginners series. You're doing so, so good. We have three more videos of my Pilates for Beginners series, so stay tuned. And I hope to see you next time. Aloha.